It's a doorway into one of the most exotic continents on Earth. From the shoreline of the Atlantic Ocean to the peaks of the high Atlas Mountains and into the dunes of the Sahara, the landscape is just a backdrop against one of the most diverse countries in all of Africa. With its blend of cultures, languages, religion, and cuisine, it's an oasis of diverse customs and traditions that have heavily influenced this part of the world for centuries. Yet it's the heartbeat of this country's traditions and customs that can be found in the faith and music of the people. This is the gateway to Africa. This is Morocco. Morocco's history stretches back more than a millennium. From the Amazir dynasty more than a thousand years ago, up to its restoration as a sovereign nation from the French protectorate, Morocco is an exotic country filled with culture and tradition. And at the heart of this nation's cultural heritage is her music. To explore the music of Morocco would be a voyage unlike any other. Journeying across Morocco and visiting 10 cities over 15 days, these three friends will travel through the heart of this exotic country. Let's go, I'm gonna show you Morocco in style. Nouaman Latlou is a Moroccan superstar singer, songwriter, and producer. Hassan Hakmoun is a master Ganawa musician who has performed with many international artists, including Peter Gabriel. Laurent Legal is a documentary filmmaker looking for his next great story to tell. The history of Morocco's music continues to weave threads into the fabric of today's melodies. It's what these three friends hope to explore on their journey across the northern part of Morocco. Their voyage begins in Morocco's largest city, Casablanca. The city is a remarkable blend of modern architecture with old world charm, a unique fusion of 21st century life and Islamic heritage. It's a thriving, pulsing center of culture and history. A perfect representation of Morocco's commitment to heritage and tradition can be found in Casablanca at one of the largest and most exquisite mosques ever built. Built along the Atlantic Ocean, this is the Hassan II Mosque. It's beautiful, it's one of the largest in the world, and it's named after the current king's father. I wish Casablanca to be endowed with a large, fine building, of which it can be proud until the end of time. I want to build this mosque on the water, because God's throne is on the water. King Hassan II, 1980. But we are here in, in we on the water. water. We are on the water. It's built on the water. And we, even when you're praying, you pray and you see the water. It's the third biggest mosque in the world and the highest minaret in the world. Started in 1986 until 1994, uh, day and night, 24 hours a day. But what, what's, what is fantastic for me is that every single piece here has been made by hand. No machine has worked in the whole mosque. And this wood sailing opens in the summer.
one of the beautiful things I like most about Casablanca is the Hassan II Mosque. It's one of the best places in Morocco to visit. And the most beautiful thing about this mosque is that all the Moroccan have participated in the building of it by giving a lot of uh, money. People from Casablanca, we are very proud of this site here in Morocco. One man who had a profound influence on today's music in Morocco resides here in Casablanca, Abdella Wahab Dukali. His penthouse high above the city displays his numerous music awards from his career, including medals from Pope John Paul II and Pope Benedict XVI. He invites the three friends over, where they ask about his musical influences. When I first started uh, getting in love with art in general and in music in particular was Master Mohamed Abdel Wahab, my island. I tried at the beginning to, 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 to sing and compose uh, uh, all the feelings of the people, sad things about the things that they cannot express themselves. I tried to put it, all the subjects in my songs to, to be very close to these people. Is that right? Is that yes, right? Yes, yes completely Wait, right. Why you don't know? you? Why don't you? Take well, it? <laughs> yeah, I mean, what he's what he's doing is actually writing his music through how the people feel in life, so he can connect with their problems and their and what they go going through life, and that's how he connects with the people, singing their feeling and their problems. And today, we. Yeah. Uh, uh, so what he's trying to say that what's happening today and the musicians, to the, uh, the kids, the, the, the new generations that are doing music today that you hear, he already started doing that in 1970s, you know, started doing that and uh, he have done it and for him you know and through my eyes and what he's seeing it's it's amazing to see uh, 50 60 years it just arrived what he already done that for the people <laughs> Another artist whose music includes messages for the people of Morocco is Don Big. He is one of the hottest rap artists in the country, and he is finishing his latest track, a song dedicated to his son. He takes the friends around the corner to a little restaurant called Zaina. We are in the middle of traditional hood called Habus, and this is Zaina's place. In my, in my personal view, this is the best place you can be and the must-have thing as a tea because we are in a traditional restaurant. So you, you, you drink tea after uh, every lunch, every meal, every... Oh, all, all day long. All, all day, day long. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. After or within? Uh, yeah. Well, here. You go. Yeah, this shukran. Is, uh, we say shukran. Okay. No, shukran. No, but Cheers. in, uh, but in your song, what I, I like one thing when you was talking about school to your kids. The most important thing is the is to study. Even if you're an artist, you need to get some knowledge, yes. it's some background. Mm. It helps. Education is very important. Yeah, it's definitely the most yeah. important thing in yeah. life. Yeah. yeah, This is what it's all about in Morocco. So it but, was all about... Talking about education, you are speaking a very good English. Where it's did very you learn? well, very well. Well, thanks to MTV. <laughs> <laughs> it's MTV, you know? 
The northern part of Morocco can be divided in two, the side that borders the Atlantic Ocean and the side that meets the Mediterranean Sea. And in between is the next stop on this voyage. This is Tangiers. To the west, the Atlantic Ocean. To the east, the Mediterranean. Behind me, I can see Spain. And in front of me, this is the gateway to Africa. So they Throughout Morocco's history, Tangier has been the entrance into this amazing country. The city's origins date back to 500 AD. Over the centuries, the Romans, Arabs, French, and many other countries have all controlled Tangier in some way or another before it was restored to Morocco in 1956. It seems that Tangiers change a lot. It's actually the change is thanks to our King Mohammed VI. Yeah with his, all his huge efforts and um, really The city seems modern, more modern. Yes, yes, absolutely, yes. Laurent meets with Kautar Barani, one of the most popular singers in Morocco. Um, I'm graduated from the Higher International Institute of Tourism of Tangier, and I used to live here for like five years. And uh, my hometown is actually, it's actually um, known for its, its different culture, mm -hmm. the Amazigh culture. The Amazigh? Amazigh? Yes, the twist in the Amazigh culture is um, we have like our special uh, language which is Amazigh. Amazigh. Yes. Amazigh. You're good at that. <laughs> yes, absolutely. We have special language and it's considered as the as the one of the official languages in Morocco. Me as a Moroccan uh, Amazigh I, of course, I speak, I speak dialect Moroccan and I speak Amazigh and we have also like different traditions, uh, different uh, traditional clothes, jewelries. So yeah. it means you, you speak, you, you sing in Amazighian language? Yes, uh, with different words, different language, different spirit and uh, different uh, instruments. I mean, we, we use uh, like basic instruments, not a lot of, of these new ones. Kautar's music is rooted in the Amazigh style, but she has recently begun to explore more modern arrangements, <laughs> such as in her latest single, Game Over. Intrigued, Laurent asks Kautar to show him some examples of Amazigh culture. They head down the street to a local shop. Oh, I'm going to show you carpet with an Amazigh twist. So, so this see, one, for example, yes. it's... This one, for example, it's pure, pure Amazigh. You can see, it's beautiful. Why? Because of this little yes, decoration, yes. for it's example? Yes, it's handmade. Yeah? Woman Is it wool? It. It's wool. Yes. Yeah. It's beautiful. This shop is amazing. Yeah. Can you see this beautiful piece of art? Oh, this is a mirror, actually. You can open it. Oh, so, oh yeah. it's, it's very and nice. The shape is, is, is Amazigh, actually. The shape is very cool. It's very, very new. Yes. It's and new to you, but it's not new to us. I know, because we it's... We got used to it. A long yes, time. there is a twist, an Amazigh twist in this mirror. How, how would you say in uh, Amazighian language, uh -huh. it's beautiful, it's splendid? Menaya ishna atas. Oh, so no. it's long, but it's beautiful. <laughs> As night falls, the city comes to life. Kautar takes Laurent to one of the most popular places in all of Tangier. And it's called Tour Magazine, which means that people a long time ago used to come here to take a rest and to take a breath again. Uh -huh. The view is spectacular. The view is wonderful, literally wonderful. Do you know a good place where we can eat tonight? Yeah, I think if you want to eat something good here, we can go there. Yeah, of course. Akrif Lagmesh is a friend of Kautar's and helps Laurent find a late night meal. They are close to the city's Medina, one of the oldest parts of Tangier, and the best places to get authentic Moroccan cuisine. The bread, yeah. it's something no. that 
It's yeah. super important. Very important. Yeah. In it's the like American rice. cuisine. It's like rice in China. Oh uh, yeah? Yeah, of course. Because we use that with everything. To, to dip. Eat. Yeah, to dip uh, right. dishes. So dishes. We have a dish and then we, we eat with, with bread. Absolutely. It's like it's our spoon. Yeah. It's our spoon. <laughs> yeah. Poisson, merci. Un appétit. Voilà. Un ami, un ami. Saha. Merci, Shukran. Les Saha. Merci. Oh my gosh. So there is different kind of, of fish here. Yeah, just... So you have your brochette. Brochette is chicken or beef skewers, seasoned with herbs and spices, and usually grilled. Mm. Mm. You know what? Yeah. Here, yeah. everything is flavored. Yeah. Even you know the the fish has a special uh, spices. Yeah, a little, yeah. a little bit of spice. How was your brochette? It's great. It's great. You can taste it. Yeah. Wait. Is it a chicken? Huh? Yeah, it is. Yeah, and chicken, and you put a little bit of chicken in the oh my God. harissa. So we harissa. say harissa. Harissa. Yeah. Harissa. Yeah. harissa is a very strong spicy sauce. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh, this one is really, <coughs> really spicy. So when you when you order food in Morocco, yeah. it's not little. You have fries. You have like a. The fish, you have the little olives. You're talking about you the quantity. The little, yes. Yeah, it's a big quantity. We eat a lot. The fish? Yeah, no, it's very good. It's very good. The Reef Mountains are Morocco's northernmost mountain range. The highest peak rises over 2,000 meters above sea level. They are home to the Amazir people, and nestled at the feet of these mountains is a city that will lure Laurent and his friends back in time. We are on our way to Chef Shawen. People tell me it's the jewel of the Reef Mountains. As they approach the city, dusk descends on the Medina, where the Alcuzme Ensemble brings the town to life. This is a traditional style of music called Taktuka Al Jablia. They are performing outside of the Kasbah among the food vendors and shops. They are most famous for the tea tray dance, which is performed by one of the musicians. strange atmosphere. The city is still asleep. That's it. It's starting. At 5.55. It's amazing. As the dawn illuminates the Medina, Laurent explores the narrow side streets. It's easy to get lost in this picturesque city. joins Laurent to show him around the Medina. So th this is Shifshawen, the blue city, the jewel of the Reef Mountain, built in the late uh, 
15th century by Moulay Ali Barashid, who came from Andalusia within the Moresque uh, civilization. And since then, nothing has changed. Yeah. The city is always peaceful, blue, clean. So we call that Lila. Lila, blue Lila. Blue Lila. Blue Lila. Chef Chowen's Medina is one of the most beautiful in all of Morocco. It has maintained its old world charm for over 700 years and is celebrated for its blue streets. This house was built in 1471, from 1471 to 1511. And the thing is, nothing has changed since that time. Everything since then is, is the same. The house, the street. So what is the story behind the blue? It's actually, I think, I asked and they told me that this is the color they used to have back in Moresque, Andalusia, back in 1471. So they tried to make like a copy of what they had, they used to have in Andalusia. And, uh, but it's like, it's so clean everywhere. They, they, they take good care of the city. It's in the mind of the people. Like in, each month you find the women of the neighborhood getting together, buying this inexpensive paint, putting the powder, and painting the walls, and painting the ground, and painting, so as the city will remain always very clean. The idea of a laundromat is very different here. You wash your clothes in paradise. Like his daughter Radia, Chef Chowan has become a muse for New Amman's songwriting. No Amman is really popular. Everywhere we go, people want photos with him. So how are you, you know? You're recognized on every corner of the street. And you're gonna see that I'm recognized in every corner of Morocco. Oh, wow. <laughs> the main kind of music in this uh, all region, Chef Shawin and the region is... Chef uh, Shawin Haddarat. Haddarat is an orchestra of women. It's an Andalusian heritage and it's pure Sufi, law with God. Mm -hmm. And they have a very special scale around this area called Hagaz. It's a color tune. So I took this scale and out of it I did my song. I did this song as I, thought, as I told you in 2006, I think 2005, called Yashif Shawni Since then it started to be the official song of the city. And uh, when I had the 70,000 people public, I just start singing. Then I quit. And the rest, the 70,000. Even the schools, if we have time, we can go see a school and you see all the kids singing this song. So do you think uh, a song can change the world? It did. Nuaman and Hassan and their families head to a local school to surprise the children. Here, the traditions and music of the past continue to inspire the artisans of today. For Laurent, Nuaman, and Hassan, this journey through the northern part of Morocco has given them a new perspective on the future of music in one of the most diverse countries in the world.